What's up? It's Juice Beats back again with another race video. And this one is the Winston-Salem Cycling Classic Gears and Guitars race in Winston-Salem. This is the second year that I'm doing this race, but of course this is a different course than I did last year. Last year I did the uh, four corner crit. It was the four or five race and it was in the morning. This one is on the pro course. This is the one that the, uh, the pros do later on in the day. And obviously this is in the afternoon, much better day this year. Uh, we did not have the rain that we did last year. So the course is, is nice. Um, the only thing about this course though is it does feature this nice hill um, on the bridge area and it is a tough one. Um, weather for this day was ridiculous. It was over 90 degrees on the actual course. It was over 100 degrees. Uh, just checking on my, my Garmin uh, temperature that, that shows me. It was between 95 and like 109 degrees or something on the course. So pretty crazy. Um, but so you're starting on the hill and when you get started there, uh, pro tip on a hill there, you want to start out in your smaller ring and that will give you somewhat of an advantage of going up the hill a little bit better. So you're not kind of grinding it up there. Um, you're already starting out in an easier gear and that'll give you a little bit more, uh, spin as you go up the hill there. But uh, yeah, the, we're, we're getting started here. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to find a, a good wheel to, to stick behind at the beginning. And I didn't quite get into uh, the mesh of, of the Peloton the way I wanted to at the beginning. That was a much tougher hill than I thought. But here I go, I'm going to uh, push it. This is kind of a false flat area. It's it's a slight uphill, but uh, you actually gain a lot of speed going um, up it. So um, I'm able to kind of catch up to the back of the peloton here, and uh, yeah, we go into this um, this turn here. This uh, so in last year's race, you actually turn right and you go up a hill, and it just makes a four corner loop there. Um, this year, you know, uh, on this course, you turn left and then you kind of go around. Um, this is the, the last turn here going up into the hill. And I apologize for not having the uh, back camera on this race. Uh, not totally my fault. Um, I did forget it back home. Um, the, uh, the bracket that goes on the back of my seat. But uh, the other thing that happened was uh, I was getting my bike all fixed up before the race. And um, I literally picked up the bike like an hour or two before we left. So I was kind of scrambling getting everything together before I left and I just kind of left the bracket um, at home. So I wasn't able to hook the back camera up. Some quick stacks for the race. I averaged 24 miles an hour. 260 watt average with a 350 normalized. Um, I believe that's because of the uh, the hill there. And then uh, 1367 max. And as you'll see, every time I go up that hill, I am pretty much over a thousand watts. So um, yeah, <laughs> definitely a tough hill. Definitely a suffer fest up that thing. Um, if you've been paying attention for the first few laps, just to see the uh, percentage on that hill, um, I, it's kind of misleading a little bit as you look at it, but I believe it gets over 9% at some uh, points of it. Uh, and I want to say that it, it it's probably on average, it, you know, four to six percent. So it, it is a tough hill and it is a, uh, a leg snapper on that one. But here we go. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six turns in this race. We're going around the uh, fifth turn, which goes right into the sixth turn. This is a very short little area right here. Um, so it is a fairly technical course. And, you know, obviously with this hill feature, it is a, um, 
you know, a leg snapper here. And we can see we're going over 22 miles an hour, 23, 24, 20. I mean, we're we're flying up this hill and it is, yeah, over over 10% there. It has a slight little flat part right here. Not, um, I want to say flat, but not really flat, flatter than uh, what we're doing. And then you have this last little bit that goes up over uh, four or five percent. And then uh, you come downhill after that. So definitely a tough portion of the course. And that's where a lot of people were left behind. If you weren't pushing it hard enough up that hill, then uh, you got left behind. And a lot of people after the very first lap were, were left behind. And I'm here struggling on the back. I didn't get the greatest clip in at the beginning. Um, and I, it looked like my foot got in, in the pedal, but it actually wasn't clipped completely in. And so I had to kind of reset as I was going up that hill. And it put me a little bit behind. Um, I wanted to get up into, not necessarily the front, but uh, you know, the first 10 wheels or so and try to stick in there. And that didn't quite happen. So here I am struggling to uh, get back into the race a little bit on these first few laps. Um, and yeah, I'm dangling off the back here. Not necessarily where I wanna be, but definitely, um, you know, I'm not off yet or anything like that. There were 46 racers that uh, started this race. And so pretty big field. Uh, this is the three, four race. This was the second largest, I believe on the day. Um, obviously the pro one, two, three, that one had close to a hundred racers in that one. Um, so a lot of uh, big time racers from all over in that race. But here we go, over a thousand watts, pushing up this hill again. I am dying. This hill is tough. And to be able to uh, push out and try to stick behind here was um, definitely a struggle. You can see here, I, I caught up to the uh, the guys though. So uh, I'm not out of it. I'm still, still doing well. Um, still fairly big uh, field with us at this point. But this was definitely a reprieve area. Uh, kind of get a little bit of a rest and see my heart rate jumps over 170 going up that hill. And then you're able to kind of coast down this one. You didn't really want to coast, but you know, to, to get a little bit of a, uh, a reprieve or, or a little bit of rest on your legs, uh, you, you kind of had to sometimes. So, this, this next part was kind of where I wanted to make up a little bit of ground. And I knew that uh, with the momentum that I was getting coming out of that turn, that uh, that would be a good place for me to make up some ground uh, if I could. At the moment here though, I, I'm still kind of resting. That, I mean, I can't under uh, understate how tough the hill climb was in this race and, and how much energy you had to put out. I mean, some really good racers, some guys that I remember from earlier races this year were getting uh, put out on the hill there. So um, it's, it's, it's definitely a tough one. And and you can see, I mean, as soon as you make this turn, I'm over a thousand, yeah, I'm over 1100 watts there and I am pushing and, and guys are basically sprinting up the hill this entire time. And, you know, one thing about me is, you know, I am the biggest, if, uh, you know, I, I'm one of the biggest, if not the biggest guy in the field. So watts per kilogram definitely comes into effect on this hill. And, you know, a lot of these guys are 75 to maybe even 100 pounds lighter than I am going up. So uh, it, it's definitely a struggle for me to be able to keep up with those, those uh, small guys like that. But I am trying my best to go up, up and down this hill as quick as possible and try to stay with the group. Um, I was feeling good though. 
Like that, you know, fitness wise, it wasn't a struggle. It, it was definitely a watts per kilogram type thing on that hill. And that was my only struggle. And then that's, you know, that was part of the reason why it was tough for me to keep the wheels after the hill was because I was trying to uh, rest the legs a little bit after, you know, pulling myself up there uh, as hard as we were going. So that's why you kind of see me dangling off the back here. I, I'm not really in the best drafting position, and but I'm still with the Peloton. I'm just not getting a good draft. I'm, I'm kind of eating wind at the, at the moment here. I don't want to be this far off the back, obviously, for the entire race. Uh, that's, that's not a good strategy there. I want to be up there uh, with the rest of the guys and in, in, in the mix. Uh, in, you know, within 10 wheels or so of the front. Here we go again, I'm back on this hill. And I mean, these laps are, are fairly quick. I mean, I think they're about two minutes or so. So uh, really quick laps. And, and the, you know, I've, I've stated it before that this hill, I can't under, uh, understate how hard it was. I mean, you see guys right there just kind of falling off they're like ah, i quit i'm not doing it anymore here i go pushing hard again trying to get back on on the back you got guys who have already just like said you know what i'm done it's too much and uh, i mean i don't blame them with the the heat being the way it was for this entire race uh, and uh and and that hill it it was definitely a, a, a struggle fest in this one. All right, I jumped ahead just a little bit further here and we're going up this kind of false flat area. And just like I talked about before, this is where I wanted to make my move to move up a little bit. I noticed that uh, people were kind of coasting. So at this time, I take a nice outside line. I make up a whole bunch of wheels here to get up there and just make sure that I'm getting in the mix. Kind of slot in just a little bit here. I'm letting a little bit of room go here so that I can take this turn with a little bit more speed. I don't want to have to slow down too much. Um, that's one of the things I learned from uh, NorCal Cycling, uh, watching some of their YouTube videos is, you know, before you get into the turn, you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of room so you're not obviously running into the back of some wheels there, but uh, you're able to keep your speed and, and kind of coast up. And you can see I had a much easier time going up the hill doing that. But yeah, you know, I'm still struggling. I, I still used up a ton of energy. Um, in the first few laps here, trying to go up this hill and, uh, and match the speed of everybody else. So I am definitely taxed at this point and you can see it now. I lost a, I lost a few wheels after this hill, um, which is not, you know, it's not terrible going up that hill at my size and losing a few wheels as long as I'm getting back up to where I was before. Um, so, it, you know, one of the things that I, I've been taught before is, you know, being a bigger guy is to try to make it to the hill early on before the rest of the peloton and then kind of sag back and then you kind of fall into into the place. I wasn't doing it very well here. And, and obviously, I mean, you know, I'd already been doing a few laps. We're, we're on lap seven here. And, you know, I finally kind of got up to the not necessarily the front, but but close to where I needed to be, and and I was already pretty taxed. So here I am, trying to stay on here, not looking good at this moment. Um, it was just yeah, I, I can't under, uh, understate how how tough that uh, that hill was, and just how taxing it was for the entire race. But you can see, I mean, there we started out with 46. And I think we're down to maybe 20 or so left, 20 something um, left in this race here. So yeah, uh, that's, that's how many people fell off uh, at this point. 
Here we go over a thousand watts again up the hill. Gotta push it, holding over over 700 best I can. More people falling off. I'm going. I'm dead. I didn't want to give up. That was one thing, you know. I, I, I'm not gonna give up just because it, it's tough. But I mean, you can see guys are are falling off left and right here and yeah <laughs> this is probably one of the toughest courses that i've ever done as a, a racer um in the last two years uh i've done some some other races with hills the polecat was my very first race. That one had like a 17 to 20% incline in the middle of it. Um, and that I wanna say that that one was really tough, but it wasn't as tough as this one because that one was a pretty quick punchy one. This one is kind of uh, stretched out. But as you can see, here we go. We're on lap eight and the, uh, the Peloton has finally drove away from me a bit and yeah we won't see them pretty much after this so i held on the best i could for the first seven and a half eight laps or so and uh, yeah it, it just got too much for me and and like i said it wasn't a fitness problem because my fitness is really good like i can i can handle all that but it was definitely a watts per kilogram thing and just, you know, competing with a lot of smaller guys um, that were up there who could punch it, you know, pretty well. But when you're when you're much lighter going up a hill and you're punching it pretty good, um, you can leave guys like me. I, w I would have to be doing, you know, 1200 watts or something every time I go up here just to be able to keep up with uh, some of their wattages that they were doing here. So, fell back um, and I am kind of riding by myself at this moment. Uh, the guy that I passed on uh, on one of the, the last turns there, uh, he's going to end up kind of riding with me for a little bit on these last few laps here. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but I am breathing pretty tough. See, so there there we go, right here. Um, gonna, gonna try to ride with him a little bit for these last few laps. Here we go, fast forward, going into my last lap. We have caught up to another racer and it's just the three of us right here. I think they have already let us know that this is gonna be our last lap. Uh, the Peloton in, I guess the last few laps has has come close. They're getting ready to uh, uh, catch up to us fairly quickly. So um, yeah, and I think I heard the official say this is, this is gonna be our last lap. So we're riding together here. Um, they're the, the big peloton the the one that's up front that uh was started out at 46 is down to i think like uh maybe 15 16 or 17 riders so it has been dwindled down a lot and uh yeah, here we go. So it's just the three of us right here together. We've passed, a, um, I think we've, we lapped a few people on the last couple laps and, and uh, we're all together here. So I'm just trying to uh, finish out the race at this point um, with these guys here and, and figure out what placing I'm gonna get at this point. Cause they are about to, uh, call it on on this lap here for us sucks but uh yeah i'm kind of in the same boat as a bunch of other people so i take this opportunity to uh, kind of take off right here uh get around those guys a little bit um and and hopefully get a a decent place in the race at this point if i you know 
take this uh, into the finish line right here. That's why I wish I had my uh, my back camera at this point to see how kind of how far they were behind me. Um, but it's all right. We'll do it next time. So coming into the last little stretch here, not really sprinting. You can see I'm not even getting over a, a thousand watts <laughs> right here. Just trying to finish out. There we go. There's the signal. You're done. And so that was my race. Um, I ended up. 19th though so top 20 out of the 46 racers that started this thing so like i said i mean the the peloton they they were uh dwindled down to only a few riders left i mean it, it was definitely a tough race for everybody involved and so yeah um glad that I got top 20 in this race. I wish I could have done better. I wish I could have finished it out uh, with the Peloton a little bit more, but um, yeah, that, that was the, the end of my race there. And um, yeah, that's all I can say about that. Well, uh, hopefully that's not my last race of the year, but uh, if it is, then I guess I'll have to wait till next year to kind of move up in uh in the categories but i am i believe only a couple points away from moving up to a cat two uh voluntarily uh the mandatory uh because i think it's just over a year for me since i won my my first couple races um the points kind of fall off after 12 months for the mandatory upgrade so um i those points have fallen fallen back a little bit but um yeah if i, I mean if i can place in in a few races uh between now and next year if there are some then uh, i could definitely move up voluntarily and and race with uh, some of the rest of my team but if not you know i'll just wait till next year and uh and try to move up then but i am I'm excited though, you know, I, I've got, uh, I've got some time now to, uh, work on, on my body getting stronger and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, pressed for racing or anything. I can kind of enjoy, um, group rides again and, and, uh, and riding with some other, other people around. So I did finally uh, record a video of me doing the uh the wax chain so i will be getting that out hopefully soon for you guys as well so looking forward to uh some more videos from me hopefully some more races too but uh yeah keep tuned in and uh hit that like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you know when i post videos but i will see you guys on the next one peace